If we set out to create the educational experiences with the goal of preventing students from obtaining the knowledge that they need for career mobility and fulfillment, we would be creating the modern school system. Before youth start school, just think about how quickly they can learn things. This begs the question: What happens in school, or what doesn't happen inside these classroom experiences? Become a better teacher. Studying how learning works has helped me in this journey. Before you think I'm not a teacher, I am no interested in being a teacher. I would like to contend to the fact that as long as you help people discover, understand, or remember something, you are in fact a teacher. Now, to begin this conversation, why don't we take a look at a definition of learning that might be helpful? So, I know this is a lot of text, but we'll skim through it. Let's define learning as a growth process that happens inside your brain and leads to changes in your life. Your brain is in a constant state of growth and change. When you dedicate more effort and struggle to master a specific skill, your brain grows more and learns more. Learning involves changes in your knowledge, beliefs, behaviors, and attitudes. Learning is not something others can do for or to you; rather, it's something that you have to do for yourself. Learning occurs as a direct result of strategies you use to learn. As well as how you interpret and respond to your experiences. One learning principle is what you believe about your own intelligence, your potential, and your abilities is super important. Not many students learn very much in traditional classes and school experiences because there's an overemphasis on content. Specifically, if we take a look at this learning needs hierarchy created by my community college professor Jeff Anderson,、um, so much of My experiences in many of my classes, in particular college classes, there is an overemphasis on、um, this part, <laughs> the what tier. But what happens here is, if we leave building relationships up to chance, if we leave other higher order tiers left to chance, what ends up happening is sometimes it doesn't actually happen. <laughs> sometimes these are not answered and not uncovered for students. So. That could be problematic for many reasons. So you might be thinking to yourself, okay, what does that hierarchy really mean?、Uh, if we look in traditional lecture-based knowledge classes, what does a lecture do? Right? It helps students move from that they don't know that they don't know to now they know that they don't know, assuming they've never seen the information or the content before. But a much higher-order learning task is. Actually, this next stage, as we can imagine, where we engage in sense making, get active in constructing the knowledge for ourselves, but so often this is not under the purview of the teacher and the peers. Meaning, it is done in isolation, <laughs> unless you form your own study groups, etc., etc. But next, I'd like to show a taxonomy of learning by an author named Fink. And it, which also supports the idea where, when we overemphasize, say, this tier in classroom experiences, students miss out on these other tiers. So my plead to educators who are responsible for designing learning experiences for other people is to consider or reimagine how you use. The time that you have with your students, all of us would like to be heard, seen, valued, respected, and cared for.、And、this is my invitation to have conversations around belief and hope, motivations and goals, and how learning works, all before content. And even if you're not formally a teacher or in a teaching role. Anytime you're around anyone, you have an opportunity to tap in to some of these other tiers in the knowledge economy and the current day and age. Continuous learning is required if we want to develop and build the life that we would like. If you are an educator, if you are a manager or a leader who are responsible for designing learning and responsible for designing engagement. I implore you to consider this hierarchy and find ways to 
address these other tiers and address these other categories um, and not leave that up to chance. If we address these higher order needs first, the rest of the stuff is light work. People get better at making decisions when they have opportunities to make decisions, which is not the same as following directions. Thank you, Constance, for the one-on-one -on -one times. Thank you, Frankie, for extending me so much grace. Thanks, Gurbashad, for really basking in your authenticity and humor. Thank you, Malcolm, for being kind to me during the interviews. And thank you for all my peers for inspiring me to become a better storyteller.